Oh, it's been a while. Sorry for the lack of activity. Life's been keeping us busy, but I made this to tell you we are well underway with Conquest. So far, we nearly have everything we need audio-wise. Editing will begin soon, and we're working on getting that art done. The amazing people working on this project have done such a great job, and we can't wait to put everything together! Of course, editing and the like takes a while, and there is a lot to edit. We can't give an exact date or time frame at the moment. We're hoping to get it out before spring, but we will certainly get this out before summer, so long as nothing extreme happens that prevents us from moving forward. What we can say is the moment we get what we need, we'll be putting out a second trailer and an episode teaser. For the release time of those, it depends when we get the materials for it. Hopefully sometime in January, ideally late December. For now, I do have something to share Conquest-wise. Some time ago, I had the idea to write a prologue for Conquest, mostly for fun, taking from an idea I had for a trailer at one point, but lacked any time to bring it to life. It's not required reading for the first episode, more a look into some events that happened before Conquest, digging into what the villains were up to before the meeting and such. As I finish them, I will be posting them on my Fem Fiction account, so check back every so often throughout the next week or two. If you have interest in following, I do intend to make short stories for Conquest as the series goes on. I will mention on here when I start through an update. The first of the prologue shorts has been posted. Before I close out, I'll be reading the first two paragraphs. It echoed through the ambient silence of his prison, hoof against the chipped stone floor. In another circumstance, this may be an irksome sound, yet here, it was a welcome change. Between the heavy weight of emptiness around him and the huffs of his three-headed guard, this was music. The drained centaur reached through his bars and snatched the stone worked from the ground, rolling it around in the palm of his scrawny, rust-colored hand. A nice size for once. To his right, he took a needle-pointed shard and tapped away at his chip. It's not an ideal activity, something he'd never take interest in had he not been forced into this state of boredom. At the least, crushing and tossing them made it worth the trouble by the end. These last hundred years were different. With his first escape, he gained plenty of knowledge, enough to assist him upon a second attempt. Equestria had changed drastically since the time before his imprisonment. When he's able to escape again, he wondered what it would be like. Would some disaster have swept civilization away? Perhaps magic would evolve by a hundredfold. That would be the best case, which he doubted. Whatever happens, his newest plan will not fail. That's it for now! If you're interested in reading this story, or the ones to come, check out the link in the description! We are so close to putting this episode out, and when we do, be sure to give our team lots of love! They deserve so much praise, as they're a big contributor in bringing the story to life. We hope to get more videos out soon, so keep an eye out! Until then, thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day!